like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Hey, everybody, how you doing? It's your boy, Alan Wade, back again with another Heat Transfer Warehouse Challenge video. Heat Transfer Warehouse got together and they sent all of the affiliates out some packages, some care packages, and the challenge and the task is to create a design and put it onto a shirt. A lot of the other creators like to go crazy, but I like to keep things simple because less is more and simple things are more practical. I like to show you guys designs that you would use in a practical world. And the reality is most of the time um, you wouldn't put vinyl all over the place and necessarily sell it to a client. So we're gonna keep our design practical, but we're gonna have some fun also. Today's vinyls that we're gonna use are Walla Cut Puff Neon Orange from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Love puffy vinyl, it's one of my favorite. It puffs up after you press it. I can't wait to show you guys. Next up, we have our Caesar White with the glitter flakes on the inside of it. See that G right there? That's what that stands for. All available from yours truly, Heat Transfer Warehouse. And last but not least, we have our Easy Weed Glow. It wouldn't be Halloween design if we did not use any of this Glow HTV from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And the main attraction of the show, our design. The main attraction of the show, our design wouldn't be complete if we didn't show off our design. This is what we're gonna transfer on. We're gonna use our puffed vinyl for the pumpkin head. We're gonna use some glow in the dark for the perimeter of the eyes and we're going to use, no, the glow in the dark is gonna be the inside of the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And then we're gonna use our white glittery flake for the outlines around just the eyes as well as the mouth guys and of course this right here is going to be the white glitter also guys all right so as you guys can see this design has one two three layers on it personally i'm not a big fan of layering a lot of vinyls so i like to use the subtract all feature in silhouette studio and I'm rocking out with Business Edition. So some of the tools that are available in Business Edition might not be available in the Designer Edition or the Basic Edition Silhouette Studio. But yeah, I like to subtract all so that it creates holes in the vinyl so I'm not layering too much vinyl on top of each other, guys. So um, what are we going to be cutting this with? We have the Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro, large cutting area. Let me just power it on so you guys can see it when it turns on, lights up. You got the illumination of the Cameo Pro up above right here and voila, ready to go. But guys, we're honestly not going to use our Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro today. We're going to use our Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus. If you have a Silhouette Cameo 4 or a Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus, I believe the Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus is plenty sufficient for most applications. The Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro is for cutting huge pieces of vinyl and it in most cases require you to use the huge cutting mat that comes with it. So I think the Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus is more than sufficient. If you haven't purchased yours yet, then use my Heat Transfer Warehouse link in the description down below to purchase yours today. The next step is to arrange our design on Silhouette Studio so that it's ready to be sent to the cutter, cutting, cutting machine. Um, let's do that right now. So we have our design right here. We just wanna select the entire thing, flip the design horizontal, and we are not going to be using a cutting mat. We just have to make sure we are aware of where we're placing this. So let's just set up our page really fast. We're using the Cameo 4 Pro. I'm gonna select that and we're not gonna use any cutting mat. So we put none on here and we just situate our pumpkin on the area where we want it to cut. And now that it's flipped horizontal, which we technically didn't need to do because our design is symmetrical. 
So we didn't need to flip it horizontal, but it's a good way, it's a good thing to get in the practice of, of doing things the same so that you don't run into issues later on down the line. So now that we have all of our sheets of vinyl cut out with our designs, now it's time for our favorite part, which is weeding our vinyl. Let's do it. Now, if you cut your vinyl right, it should weed like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you see it. Oh yeah. And moving on to the next final. If and only if you cut your vinyl correctly, it should weed. It should, not saying it's going to, but it should weed like this if it was done correctly. Only if it was done correctly though. If it was done wrong, it's not gonna do this. But if you did it right, then it's gonna weed like this. All right? Only if. See how smooth, how buttery? Gotta have the right cut settings, guys. I have a video on how to get the right cut settings. For those of you who need that video, head over to YouTube Adub Productions and watch that video. Just gonna get the eyeballs right here. Here we go. Look at that. Look at, look, whoa. Whoa, by itself, it's like, whoa. Oh, that's evil. Dr. Evil Pumpkin. If you cut your vinyl correctly, it should weed like this. Boom. Scary. Now it's time for another favorite part that I like, the application process. And I'm not talking about employment, I'm talking about applying the vinyl using our Voila Pro. Man, this press is scary. Just gonna reach in the back, turn it on. Then of course we're going to disable the, press the power button right here, safety feature. When you turn it on, it doesn't turn on all the way. You just press that button and we're gonna adjust the temperature, press mode. That starts flashing. We're gonna set it for 275, guys. Is that what we said, 275? Oh, actually this is Celsius. Oh my gosh, messed up. Press that button, click the Fahrenheit. Let's adjust that again. Oh my gosh, 500, that's way too hot. Let me just lower that down. Sheesh, almost screwed that one up. <laughs> so now that we have everything in order, our heat press is heated up. It's time for the fun part, guys. Let's press some vinyl. All right, so I'm just gonna lay my shirt down on our 16 by 20 heat transfer warehouse heat press right here, the Walla press. Just gonna get the lint brush and lint roller, get everything off of there. And we're gonna press it, give it a short press for a few seconds to get all the moisture out. Just a few seconds. That should be sufficient. All right, first press. We're gonna press on our pumpkin. All right, just gonna lay that down there. Ooh, that looks good. And guys, here's a collar right here. We wanna go four fingers down from the collar, making sure we're in the center of the shirt first. Four fingers down from the collar. And don't forget, we gotta put a stem on here, so I'm gonna move this down just a little bit more to account for that stem. All right, okay, so right there. Seems like a good place. And this is our first layer, which is our Puff HTV. Let's see how it comes out, guys. Let's see. 10 seconds, and then it's gonna open up on its own. I hope our Puff doesn't go down too much because we have to apply other layers of vinyl onto this. And already you can see that Puff puffing. Hot pill, wow, that's puffy. Sheesh, that's very puffy. That's aggressively puffy. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to, I don't even know if that's gonna work. Uh, we gotta make this work, guys. That is so puffy. I don't know if this is going to, to work because we can't layer puff vinyl. 
but we're gonna try. First time for everything. This is super puffy, sheesh. I've never seen a puff like this before and I've used this stuff before. This is insane. Guys, this might be at the end of our, our, our video right here. I'm gonna try to press it. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a puff that much before. Let's try it. Insane, guys. We're not supposed to layer puff final. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's in there. One more layer, one more layer. We gotta get our outline in there. All right, and our pumpkin head. Wow, it's so, it's so puffy. I've never seen it. I'm just so fascinated because it's so puffy, guys. I've never, I've never, and I've used puff before, but this is like ultra puff or something. I don't know what they got going on here. What they put in a formula, but the puff is extra puffy these days. I don't, I can't call it, guys. I really can't call it. I don't know what's going on here, heat transfer house, but you guys got the formula, Caesar. You guys got the formula, and it's going down. The puffy is so like. It's ridiculously puffy. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. Now, in the dark, you can actually see that this stuff does, in fact, glow in the dark. That's my cell phone light, by the way, guys. Yes. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it. I hope it was entertaining. If it was, give this a thumbs up and subscribe channel. If you're not subscribed already at A Dub Productions on YouTube. Also follow me on Instagram, A Dub Productions, Alan Wade. Follow me on Facebook, A Dub Productions, Alan Wade. Follow me on TikTok, Alan Wade, A Dub Productions. Had fun making this video. The Puff Final it did have some extra puff to it that I'm actually not used to. The glow in the dark, yes, in fact, does glow in the dark and the glitter does add a little touch of something different around the outline of it. So I enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Heat Trans Warehouse, did I win? Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?